Maybe, yeah. This man's actually flown out from the other side of the world. He's not. But we're getting Incineroar versus Mr. Game & Watch, both on their brightest and most garish color schemes. Yeah. Just to make sure you can absolutely see the action here. Yeah, no, absolutely. Incineroar pretty much rocking the Garfield colors. <laughs> Very early down smash to the fourth smash. No, not wrong. Well, Mr. Game & Watch going for the LCD screen. Can't really call it a green screen because that's something no, else. No, but Game of Watch else. screen, and he is getting hit by the Alolan Whip up into the air. I don't think yeah. he wanted oh, the brilliant. upward one. I love that so much. But he has made it work, turning it into two up airs, and Mr. Yeah. Game of Watch is right out of there. It's a real up air in general. It's so good for comboing at low at low percentages. Yeah, and so if Cabbage gets himself into that kind of position again, I think we need to see him use an up B. I combo really escape. do not like him getting caught by the side B. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. Sour's no on grounded the hammer. hits. That's a shame. He's oh, just spamming right. it. He's literally spamming it. That's okay. what you do. That's Mr. Game and Watch. Yeah, but you're not going to get away with it all the time. Well, as long as it works, then fair play to Cabbages. It's put him back in the lead here. Yeah, and that's Ooh, a nice, nice down combo. there. Would have preferred to have gotten all the hitboxes in the neutral there. Yeah, realistically, as his combo follow-up, the up B was guaranteed. Yeah. But also, Cabbages hasn't used an up B at all in the entire set yet. Yeah, so. no, he has an up B um, when he's right up close to Chimbaru. Yeah, he hasn't even had the chance to use it as a recovery yet because he got star KO'd. Yeah. I think Cabbages is really struggling to approach in general. And he's also not fully aware about how dangerous Incineroar is. Yep. Oh, that back throw! Just got not a kill. To take Third it. lightest character. At 88. Why is 2D Man not the lightest character in the game? If he's a two dimensional character. He's still. He's still a grown man at the end of the day. That's more than Pichu can say for himself. Oh, if that connected, that could have yeah, been an That could have been chaos. it. Especially because Cabbages did not have a jump in that scenario. Oh, I like the platform pressuring from the uppers. Yep, and that should have been a fairly easy back air if he got the jump read. Yeah. But instead, oh, make it that time. it's not going to make it back regardless. So this is nice and even to start things off. Yeah, nice and even start, although Chimbaru looking the stronger of the two so far. Oh, just dropping shield at the wrong time there, though, yeah. and he's buried in the ground, Ooh. and that is so much damage to take. A lot of damage. All right, Incineroar remaining completely stationary. I suppose that's what you do when you play the slowest yeah, character no, in the especially game. Especially because Cabbages is going on to the platforms a lot. Chimbaru can easily just try to pressure him on the platforms. Oh, no! the sour spot on the fourth oh, match. No. That surely would have been it oh. if he was just spaced that little bit better. But instead, Chimbaru given a second lease on life. Yeah. And he's got to make a very slight oh. comeback. He's in the lead now. Yes, he, he almost died to up air. And it's happened! It's the happened. up air has this time taken the stock for Chimbaru. He almost died in the same scenario to his first stock as well earlier. Yeah, exactly. First stock and third stock. It was two Incineroar up airs. Absolutely. No, one thing I will say about Cabbages is that the more he relied on platform camping, the more comfortable Chimbaru felt in neutral because you could easily pressure him on the platforms with the up airs. And Cabbages doesn't seem to have the best approach options mm -hmm. in terms of safely. Yeah, and absolutely not abusing Mr. Game and Watch's free escape tools. No, we call if you watch fire. somebody like Bulby, you'll just see him using it almost all the time. Oh, trust you me. You tried to go into his shield. I got to commentate two sets from Meister at Xanadu. I've seen plenty of that up usage usage in sets I've commentated. So we'll see if Cabbages picks that up. But even if he doesn't, that was still close. He can find a way to do this without just no reason to disadvantage right. himself. So really. the, that's why he's gone for the higher seating on Connor Sleek. Because he knows he will die later now to the up air because he needs to be juggled by it several times. And now that opening neutral interaction, it's hard to know who gained more out of that because yeah. the chef dealt 34% to Incineroar, but it also gave him revenge and left him open for a Lenormand yeah. Or win. just Mr. Saibi. Well, that was a nice wait, just backing out at the last moment, yeah. using Mr. Game Watch's good airspeed to get out of there, but the Alola yeah, Whip is going to remove him. 
And Revenge oh, is revenge. Back out. Look at that percentage. You know, it's interesting to point out Revenge because Shiveru did not use that once in the, f the previous game. Yep. Oh, he's not going to get the chance to use Revenge as he gets burned. No. And I respect Cabbage charging it just to ensure that he ends the stop. I would do that myself with Inkling if I get a roller hit, even if I miss it. Yeah, I'm not away for up there. I would, I would actually prefer to go forward there. It's not exactly true, but it's more consistent, I found. And that is a big shoulder barge coming back in. Chimbaru on the verge of moving forward in this tournament. It's just a choice of forward tilt there, I saw. Oh, going straight into the bomb. That is not where you want to go. No, absolutely not. He would have expected Cabbages to land unsafely in front of him, which he's been doing a lot, and not trying to intercept him. <laughs> That's an today. interesting way to get around. All right, it's worked. In a row. It's worked. It's oh, worked. He was spinning around like a Beyblade, eventually sending Cabbages in the air. Spinning around like the tragic roundabout. Isn't it true, it, by spamming one move, if it wins you the neutral, you may as well just keep doing it. If your name's Mr. Game and Watch, then yes. But <laughs> any character, though, We can't really give Cabbages the memo on that one. Spam, down smash, and spot dodge, and it works. Yeah, and Cabbages is right back in this. He is. But not if he keeps getting shoulder barged, is this called? Uh, Alolan Whip, we know the name is. Okay. Any Anything else you want to use is probably accurate. Oh, put him yeah, in the ground. He did, he did what I mentioned earlier, down for a forward air. Again, I don't believe it's true, but it's more consistent. Helps rack up that damage also. But what I really liked was that Mr. Game Watch forward smash from a distance, Ooh. reading the approach. Oh no, that is a poor sign of neutral play. But it's been very common with cabbages from what we've seen. All right, going for another Darkest Lariat. I think he's just about used all he can yeah. use from that move. He wants to go for the side B. And he attempted it there, but once again, a early smash attack is going to stop it. Yes, it is. I'm not too sure. Oh, okay, give him it. the pizza tray. Yeah. <laughs> Special delivery. I've got your drink here. Absolutely. Give. Uh, one thing he's, about Incineroar, 